Hey everybody, I thought you'd be curious to see the progression of skids that I've built and designed over the years, getting me to what I think is going to be a game changer of a skid design here at the end. The very first platform I had was a Capra, like many of us, and this was a custom skid that I made. This was completely CNC'd out of Delrin, and it was about 250 bucks from Proto Labs, and I was really proud of it. But ultimately, it's just a Capra and has a lot of uh, weight and isn't really conducive to rail designs and a lot of modern designs. So I didn't keep this for very long. I did have this carbon plate that I bolted this first to the transmission and then bolted this to the skid from the top. So there were no bolt holes in the middle here to get hung up on things. I thought that was pretty clever. Then I bought a... Vader skid, very small, very thin. It didn't really work great with my motor placement, so I had to make this carbon plate to uh, as an adapter to my motor. And I also experimented with uh, these carbon rails. Then I bought this one. I forgot the brand, but it came as a blank skid and came with the side link mount rails as well. I drilled my mounting holes from the top, so again, I didn't have any fastener heads on the bottom to hang up on stuff. And that was the last generation of capper I did before I decided to move on to a, a rail chassis. My first rail chassis, and still my favorite one today, is a poised. And so I printed this skid myself. Kind of the things I liked about this was I had a big lead-in ramp on the front side. And I also clamped the link rod ends in between the face of the skid and the chassis rails. So they were held tight. Unlike cappers that have these uh, horrible set screws where the balls just rattle back and forth. And I never liked that. It seemed seems like a suboptimal design. So I wanted to clamp my rod ends tightly and that's how I achieved that. And I found that you didn't really need to go to the center of the skid, especially as your skid got narrower and narrower. This was a 67 millimeter skid. This material is nylon PA12, and it's made from a multi-jet fusion or MJF 3D printing technology. It's really high quality, and this is kind of the raw look. It just has this gray finish. It's black underneath, and this is what I do for sort of the first pass and then if I like it I'll go on to a better surface finish. So that's what I did here. After I liked that first geometry um, I went back and added some pockets, kind of streamlined things, made things a lot smoother and this is the one I ran for a while. Still 67 millimeters wide and you pay a couple bucks extra they'll, they'll dye it um, whatever color you like. The next generation was this one where I scooped out the bottom so you've got two or three more millimeters of clearance down the center. Um, gives, you, gives you more ground clearance, as you can see. And that was my next concept. I also, on all of these concepts, I used aluminum spacers against the plastic to keep the rod ends from tightening and sinking into the plastic. Then I moved to this one, which is a more compact version that has narrower spacing between the rod ends. And after that, I shrunk things down again to 56 millimeters. And so this is my 56 millimeter version. Once again, it has a big lead in on the front, has a scoop out at the bottom. And in order to get the transmission on here, I had to make this, uh, the bolt sit really close to the rail. So I had to fabricate this washer and nut design that kind of slides in from the side and that's how I was able to get the skid so narrow at least at this time. I didn't love that design so I went back and I scooched things around I set the transmission at an angle and that allowed me to put a standard socket head cap screw in here and this this design was much more strong uh, much stronger in the plastic than this slide-in design. That brings me to my current skid, which certainly will not be my last skid, but this is far and away my favorite, and I hope this will give you some ideas 
This, I kind of believe, could potentially really be a game changer. So it's really, really thin. The transmission sits down in this pocket, and the transmission is only three millimeters from the bottom of the skid. That's really, really low. That puts your motor and a lot of heavy parts lower for a lower center of gravity than any other skid design out there. It's also scooped out in the middle again, so that's even more clearance. And because I'm down to now 55 millimeters wide, I can mount the links on the outside of the chassis rails. So I don't need those extra cutouts like you do on all these to mount the rod ends. So it's very clean, very smooth, and I'm excited to try this one out. I would like to show you down the road how to make your own skid. If you can learn the software, which I'll show you, it's pretty easy. And once you can make the shape you want in CAD, it's about 20 bucks to print your own very high quality skid. I'll be curious to hear your thoughts.